Hello, my name is Justin Adams, and welcome to Jerry's Jerry's. If you hear an echo or anything like that, it's because I'm in a different place. I'm at my girlfriend's house in Eugene, so that's why the setting is different, and uh, there might be an echo because she has wood floors. This apartment building does not believe in, uh, there's her texting me, but they don't believe in carpets. So I'm going to do a trailer review uh, really quick. Uh, there's, this fridge is also very, very loud. So I'm gonna go in here, but the light in here sucks. Nothing's ever gonna work out, guys. All right, but the, what I'm gonna talk about is uh, the second trailer for the Kevin Spacey, Christopher Walken movie. Nine Lives just came out, and while that sounds like, and Jennifer Gardner's in it, so it sounds like, oh, this might be a good movie. It looks horrible, and it's directed by the guy that did All the Men in Black movies, Barry Sonnefeld. And he's the he was the DP for awesome movies like Raised in Arizona and shit. At least I think that was pretty sure that was him. Uh, so his last movie that he did was Men in Black Three, <laughs> and uh, that movie was not bad. But yeah, the dude does like TV shows now. Like a uh, he did the last thing he did was Beverly Hills Cop, uh, the TV show, and some other TV show pilot thing. Shit, yeah. This movie looks bad, dude. If you don't know the idea, it's Kevin Spacey voicing a cat. It's this really, really bad looking CGI, really, really bad story. And it, look, it just seems like Kevin Spacey does not care at all. It just does not seem, I do not see, I do not feel the energy of him being turned into a cat. I feel like there's no point of this story unless, in, instead of it, I mean, I feel like there's no point except uh, the point is that the studio clearly just wanted that cat movie for, for this generation's kids, for the millennials. Because I guess there hasn't really been a transformation movie uh, since The Shaggy Dog with Tim Allen. And that was 2006, so I can see how whatever company it is, like Sony or whatever, them being like, guys, we need that transformation movie. Like The Shaggy Dog, well, let's make it The Shaggy Cat, and let's get Academy Award winner. like. Kevin Spacey. I can see all the one studio exec is like, that's never gonna fucking happen. And then, <laughs> boom, what? Hollywood, good God, man. It looks horrible though. Like it looks really, really, really bad. When I heard the idea, I was like, oh, you know what? This could actually be really, really funny. The director of Men in Black. Whoa, this, this guy was <laughs> so close of hitting this car. That would have been very, very bad. Very, very funny to see, because then I would have reversed the camera, maybe got some footage of the person freaking out. Anyways, but it, I thought it was going to be a, a good idea, because, you know, Kevin Spacey, he is a funny comedic actor. He can he is just a really good actor, and he can be funny when he wants to, and he can be serious when he wants to. So I was expecting this to be good, and Christopher Walken's in it. I was expecting, like, a... And he does kind of look like he's playing the same role, like, in Click, that, 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 that Morty role where he's kind of like the guardian angel of all goodness of getting bad people and turning them into good people uh <laughs> looks bad dude but i thought i was gonna i, I thought the, the idea could be it, the, it depends on how they do it and the way that they're doing it they're doing it bad dude at least with the trailers hell no i don't know this movie could be really good but by the look of it and the cgi of the cat it all looks so bad, man. It looks like the animation, the Garfield movies were better, are be than the shit that I'm seeing here. It looks really, really bad. But not only that, not only does the, the voiceover, the voiceover sounds horrible. Just it, again, it just does not sound like Kevin Spacey wants to be there. But when Kevin Spacey's on screen, he d d doesn't look like he wants to be there. And I don't think I've ever seen a Kevin Spacey movie like that. I, I think every single Kevin Spacey movie that I've seen even the bad ones, he is giving a well-committed performance. You know, there's a movie called Father of Invention. That is really bad. The giant ox was a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. And he's at least good in it, though. You know, like, he's at least trying at least a little. Same thing with this movie Shrink, where he's this pothead uh, therapist for his celebrities. Robin Williams is in that movie. Not a good movie itself. It's pretty melodramatic. But he is so good in it. And so it's like his performance usually brings uh, light into his movies, even the bad ones. But this one, it just looks horrible, man. Like, he doesn't even look like he's going to save this movie. It just looks like a, a bad, bad waste of, 
of a good a few great actors and a, a, a premise that could be something, you know, like, I liked The Shaggy Dog Hotel and I still like it, you know, I think that's a silly movie, but, you know, Tim Allen at least had some energy with it, like, he had, he, you know, Tim Allen never has energy, but he had, like, a little bit of, of uh, his, his comedic oomph to it. Kevin Spacey doesn't have that comedic oomph in this, at least I don't see it. I feel like I said that a lot. Alright guys, that's what I think about Nine Lives, starring Kevin Spacey and Christopher Walken, directed by Barry Sonnefeld. At least the trailer, uh, we'll, we'll wait until the movie comes out, I don't know when it is, but whenever it is, I, I'll check it out and I'll, I'll see if it's good. If it is good, then hey, I'll, I'll come back and I'll be like, hey guys, I was wrong, this movie is the best movie of the year, <laughs> but I really doubt it. Alright guys, that's what I think about Nine Lives, the trailer number two, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought, like, subscribe, blah, 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 yes! I'm going to have to change that because I have to stop it.